Hi there. I thought today I'm going to do a little tutorial on doing some antiquing. I used to do this all the time on a product I was making, but I thought I would try it on these little guys. It has a little bit of a texture to it, so it'll, the antiquing will sit nicely in around it. You can use um, acrylic paint. I used to use a an umber and uh, thin it with water, but this is what I've been using lately. It's a Valspar product called Antiquing Glaze. It's asphaltum. The number is 98278. Um, Lowe's used to carry it. I don't think they do anymore, but you could get it online, I'm sure. So I like to thin it down. So here's a little bit of water. And it's it's you can see it's pretty thick. You can use it this way, but I think it's kind of wasteful. And I don't like it this dark. Actually, it's a little too much water. Okay. So I'm going to pour it. You can see how it's kind of thick. So mix that up. And then you can do as many layers as you want to get it as dark as you want. So I'm just going to use a regular brush. Let's see. I'll use... Uh, one of these, just a regular flat brush like this. And then you want to have on hand shop towels. They're called shop rags also. They're um, a better for this application because they don't have lint. So you want some that are dry and then you want one that is well, not soggy wet but kind of wet. So what you're going to do is mix this up. And then I'm just going to spread it all over everywhere. And I want to get it in all the little grooves. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. And let it sit there just for a, a few seconds, not too long. And then you're going to take your dry towel a rag and then wipe off a lot of the excess so you can see how it dramatically changes everything so once you you take the the damp rag <coughs> I like hitting the, the high spots especially but you can take off as much as you want and you don't have to do this right away you can do it a little later. And then another dry rag. And polish it up. So I think I may do a little bit more to highlight some of these recessed areas. some of this stuff. Depending on how porous your undercoating is will determine what it looks like too. This, um, I did some texture on here and it, it's fairly porous so I'm wiping a little bit more off than I normally would. Okay, so take a little bit of the, take some of this. I'm just going to hit some of the high spots. I think I need to let it dry a minute. Okay, I think this is dry enough now. I'm just going to go over it and hit a few little highlights here and there where the um, raised areas are. And these I did with a, um, um, it's actually drywall mud and um, a stencil. And the drywall mud 
is porous, so that's one reason why it's getting this look. But it, um, you'll have a whole different look if it's just the acrylic underneath. This is what I had to work on. Okay. Let's see. And I'll probably go over it with a little uh, another wash or something to finish the painting off. But that's the basics of, of doing a um, an antiquing. I think actually what I'm going to do is go around the edges a little bit so it has a bit of a vignette look to it. And it'll also cover up those areas that I didn't get paint on. So there we go. Okay. All right. That's it. Okay, this is dry enough. I think I'm going to try a little bit other wash. This is alcohol with a little Viridian green. It's mostly alcohol. So let me see what this does. And I think I'll throw in a little interference gold. Mix that up. Okay, I'm going to try a little bit. Same thing. A little alcohol and some white this time. And I have no idea what's going to happen. So we won't use a lot. We'll just do a little bit. And be more strategic about where it goes. It didn't mix up real well. But actually that's, that's okay. I don't mind that. paper towel kind of blot it here and there okay okay I can't leave well enough alone so in the white I've mixed up some um, ultramarine violet some um, permanent violet dark and some ultramarine blue So the white is still a little wet from the earlier application. So just bring a little bit of the color around to the other side. Okay, so the um, Interference gold. I'm going to put a little bit there again on the highlights, on the raised edges, I mean. Okay, I'm going to call it done.